Biden administration promises to quickly get Ukrainian refugees to the United States. The president heralded the plan as fast and streamlined to protect Ukrainians fleeing Russia's war. The plan is temporary and requires financial support from a U.S. sponsor. Omaha's news leader is live with team coverage. Jared Hill has more details on the new program from Washington. We begin, though, with Joey Safchik live with concerns from families who've already made it here and want to know what comes next. Joey. Alexandra, the families we met feel incredibly lucky, but also like they're living in limbo. They're safe from the horrors at home, living with relatives here in Omaha, but they're still waiting for authorization to work. And the governor's office today confirmed they haven't had any guidance from the federal government just yet. It was a drawn out and draining journey. Many, many countries and many, many big range go and cars and bus and fly. That landed Yaroslav Mary and little Eva Palomar in this Omaha living room. It's very hard. It's the first fly in my life. A new White House plan hopes to ease the way, helping Ukrainian refugees so they don't have to cross through the southern border like these families did. Many, many people help uh, me and my family. But the road to resettlement is bumpy, even once these families reach U.S. soil. Vitaly Klimchuk speaks with us through a translator. One of the key questions is how to rent an apartment. For now, they're staying with local Ukrainians who open their doors. Ten people are living in this single-family home. The people who live here are doing the most they can. Vitali is a mechanical engineer, Yaroslav an architect, Mary a painter. But without social security numbers, they say finding work isn't easy. I need the medical care, you know, with my, my children. Questions linger from how to enroll the kids in school to how long Omaha will be home while hearts are with Ukraine. Of course, we have a big desire to help those who are overseas at home. But these new Nebraskans share a message of gratitude for food on the table, safe shelter, and every little smile. Thank you. The Biden plan requires a sponsor here in the U.S. The Immigrant Legal Center says people who wish to be a sponsor should get in touch with an immigration attorney. Those who fled Ukraine hope the bureaucracy moves quickly as people are desperate to get here.